Hey, my name is Christian Arca. I teach product management at one month. And today we're going to learn about prioritization in five minutes or less. So let's start off with understanding what prioritization is. Prioritization is the act of putting things in order based on relative importance. So if something's really important, we'll put it first. If something's not really that important, we'll put it somewhere towards the end of the prioritization order. So why might you want to prioritize in product management? The reason why you want to do that is so that it can help you plan out what to build and when to build it so that you do the things that are most important first and the things that are least important last or so that you can do things that are impactful first and least impactful last. So let's talk about prioritization in terms of what we should be looking at when we want to prioritize things. Some of the things that we'll look for are impact. And that's how much impact can you have on the business, on the metrics that you're tracking, uh, or on the customers. And then the other one is effort. How much time, money, uh, or just level of investment do you need to put in to actually getting something done? Now, the really cool thing about this is that based on impact and effort, we can draw out a little graph here that can help us prioritize on an everyday basis. Now, things that are going to take a lot of effort, but aren't going to be that impactful right here, these are things that we probably don't ever want to prioritize or do because they're not actually that meaningful. They're not, they're, they are things that don't actually get us any closer to our goals. So we can forget about this area. But then there's things that are really impactful that might take very little effort, right? And that's sort of in this quadrant over here. And these are things that we usually look to do first or things that are really quick to do and we know that they're going to give us a high amount of impact. And then we can sort of keep drawing up these little quadrants like this until we reach to the borders here. And this one will just naturally be fourth. And you get this natural prioritization schema where things that are very impactful but don't take a lot of effort, those should be done first. If, the, if there are things that are somewhat impactful but might take some effort, those should be done second, and then so on and so forth. Now, the interesting thing to remember is that in this fourth area, right, there is the possibility of things being really impactful but taking a lot of effort, and that's okay. And sometimes that actually means you should get started on doing those things earlier on because they're going to take a long time because it's gonna take you longer to deliver on that impact. So in these areas, you can actually probably work on this while doing some of these things, right? Some of those things that you know you can get done really quickly um, because they don't take that much effort, but they're still going to be impactful. So this is a really great schema or template for prioritization. You can draw this graph as many times as you want, and then as you have things to prioritize, plot them on the graph, like this. And this will help you to start thinking about prioritization, because now, let's say this is A, B, C, D, and E, you can consider doing maybe A first, and then potentially doing C, D, B, and then maybe even later on E, or maybe you don't ever do E, but this helps you think about prioritization in the best way possible because it helps you think about what's most important to the product. And that's how you prioritize in product management in five minutes or less. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more awesome videos. If you like this video and want to take my full product management class, go to onemonth.com and use the promo code below to get a discount.